Alrighty, so in today's video, I want to talk about Twister OS Lite on the Raspberry Pi 4. I haven't reviewed Twister OS Lite on my channel before, so I thought it'd be a pretty interesting video. It's going to be kind of a different type of video, but it's still going to be fun. But before we get started, I want to mention a few things. If you like to watch my videos over on Odyssey, feel free to do so. Odyssey is a free and open source alternative to YouTube without ads. So it's amazing that you don't have any ads or any tracking because it's completely open source. It's a really nice alternative to YouTube. So I would recommend checking out if you are interested. And yeah, also feel free to follow me over on Twitter at Luke F. Renner for live updates about projects I'm working on, new operating systems I'm going to be reviewing, and new videos. Thanks guys, let's get started. Alrighty, so let's talk about what is Twister OS Lite. Twister OS Lite is a much more lighter version of the full-blown Twister OS. It doesn't have all those pre-installed applications, it's much more lightweight, but it still come pre-installed with all the themes, Box86 Wine, and a few essential applications like Theme Twister, and different stuff like that. But overall, it's much more lightweight, it runs, I wouldn't say it runs any better, it still runs the same way. and. It's just better for people like me who really want to kind of build their own operating system. They don't want to have all that bloatware on their system. They just want a nice lightweight desktop with much less applications pre-installed. If you're that kind of person, Twister OS Lite is probably for you. And now let's go over the pre-installed applications that come on here actually. And I will talk about what I've changed on here because I really have changed a few things. If we open up, open up Lightweight right now, right now we are on the Mac OS Big Sur Dark theme because it's kind of the theme that I do enjoy the most. But it comes pretty solid with Neo Fetch right here, which is, looks pretty nice. We have the nice Twister OS logo, our Raspberry Pi model and stuff like that. And right here you see I am clocked at 2.2 gigahertz on my Argon 1K. So right now I'm running nice and cool. It's running really well. So I've had an amazing experience with the Argon 1K. And next, right here on the dock, right here, we come pre-installed with the file manager, which is just themed like the Mac OS Finder right now. It looks really clean, really awesome theming. It just looks incredible. And then right here, we have our Chromium web browser that comes pre-installed, our XFC terminal. I installed that myself. We have Adam Moose Software, which is the same one on Raspberry Pi OS. It just looks like the Mac OS App Store and the icon. But overall, it's the same Adam Moose Software that comes pre-installed on a Raspberry Pi OS. Next, we have our system setting, which also looks incredibly like Mac OS. To be surprising enough, the Mac OS settings actually does resemble the I mean, the XFC settings really does resemble the Mac OS settings a lot because they really do look a lot similar. And I mean, it's really nice because it works really well. I like how it's laid out. It's really easy to use and it's awesome. So this is the settings. And next right here in the applications, I mean, we really do have not that many things that come pre-installed, but as you see, I really have changed it out myself, installed more applications. And yeah, so that's basically that all the applications that I could tell that came pre-installed, I mean, except like update box 86, Twister OS patcher, different things like that. And then just some essential settings applications. It's pretty much normal. You see right now, I'm up to date on my newest Twister OS version. So now let's talk about the themes that come pre-installed on Twister OS Lite. They're all the same ones that are on the full Twister OS. Nothing had nothing different. We just have the same Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP, Twister 7. We have iTwister, which is Mac OS Catalina, and then we have Big Sur. So they all look really good, really clean. I kind of prefer the Big Sur theme. I think it really looks really essential, just like the normal Big Sur. They've done an amazing job with theming this guy, and I really do enjoy it. So now let's talk about my customizations and what, what I've done to this system to make it more like my own. So now to talk about my customizations that I made to this desktop to make it more my own that I would like to use on a daily basis, which I actually have been doing for the last few days, and I've really had an amazing experience. Number one, I changed the wallpaper to the new macOS Monterey wallpaper. If you watched WWC 2021 on Monday, you probably heard of this, and it it's a new macOS version that's coming out in September or October, but 
the wallpaper looks incredible you see i changed it right here and i really have had an amazing experience with this wallpaper it kind of looks better i was getting tired of that old big sur wallpaper but the new monterey dark wallpaper i really love how the design looks with that purple it really hits that sweet spot for me i love it and i really do enjoy it. i'll leave a little down the link to this in the description below if you do want to use it yourself next i actually changed the dock to the right right here so it actually used to be on the bottom right here and it was a much bigger i actually went over to preferences which you can go control and then hold down you'll go to dock preferences right here i set the position to right and to center and then my icon size is at 42 right now you could always make it smaller or bigger if you like also i could have enabled icon zoom if i like but i personally don't really enjoy icon zoom that much so i just leave it like that and that's basically what i did to my dock right here i i deleted all the other icons on the desktop i don't really like the clutter my desktop with many icons i feel like it makes my desktop dirtier and just not as clean so i like to just keep it to a more minim minimalist that's basically what i've done on my desktop right here i have my hard disk my theme twister and then my argon one configuration i actually install that too as well to use my nice argon case if you haven't seen that video check it out i review the argon one case and i really have had an amazing experience with this case but one thing the argon one configuration script actually only works with the lxd terminal so what i had to do was sudo apt install lx terminal to get the argon script to actually work with the LXD terminal because Twister OS comes pre-installed with the XFC terminal rather than the full LXD terminal that's on Raspberry Pi OS. So that's basically what I've done. And yeah, so net customizations, you see my terminal looks pretty different. I made it transparent in the background and how I did that was I went right here to view, I think, edit, uh, edit. I went to edit then preferences. And then right down here, what I did, I went, if I go over to the appearance tab, I did background image. <laughs> you go to transparent and it's not transparent. I go to background image and it is transparent. So I was kind of confused on that. I don't know why it works like that, but it makes my terminal transparent and that's what I was looking for. So I enjoy it and you can always change the shading right here. You can make it more or less. That's basically what I did there. And then I actually installed the syntax shell on here. And this shell makes this little guy right here look like that. And I really have enjoyed having this type of DSH shell on my terminal. It looks better than the default XFC terminal. I will leave a link to the GitHub page in the description below if you do want to install it yourself. It's really easy to install actually. And it works incredibly well. And it just makes your terminal look a bit more lively and looks different. And that's what I've enjoyed about it. It makes the text even blue. So just changes out that terminal from the default xfc kind of boring terminal but it's just my preference i i just did this for fun and next talk about the applications that i pre-installed on here i installed the puffin web browser if you watch my comparing browser video you know how much i really do like puffin it works so smoothly and i just have to use it as my main browser on my raspberry pi 4 if i do want to get good speeds it works incredibly fast it's just like really responsive and that's why i installed it on here with you can actually just install it from pi apps it's really easy to do so i also installed pi apps pikus all those essential applications on here to be able to install my other applications so once you install twister os Lite, it is a good idea to install pi apps and pikus to get the best performance next i basically installed imager which is really easy to do so nothing special right here to be honest works well I actually did install WebCord as my Discord application. You can get this from Pi Apps as well. It works really well. Next, I actually installed Ulauncher. So Ulauncher, I like it much more than the default Spotlight Search that comes pre-installed with Twister OS. Ulauncher seems to work incredibly better. It just runs really well. I can really open up any applications I want, like Terminal. Hit that guy right there, it launches immediately. I can even do web searches, but I mainly use it to launch my applications. I really do use Ulauncher more than I use this this guy right here or the light pad because they just don't I can't do my work as fastly if I use these guys. But with Ulauncher, I do it much quicker and it really does run amazingly. I installed Flameshot for screenshots, I installed Commander Pi, and I actually overclocked the 2.2 gigahertz 
with Commander Pi. It worked really well, and I really do love Commander Pi. It's an amazing tool. And if you're interested to overclock, feel free to use Commander Pi because it really is easy to do so. You just go over to the overclock tab, and it really is easy to do. Like, I just I just put in the maximum values, 2147, 706, and it ran really well. But you will need good cooling like the Argon 1, the Ice Tower, or something like that to overclock the 2147. Keep that in mind. And, yeah, so this is pretty much what I've done to my desktop. I've really changed it up, as you see. It doesn't look like the default one whatsoever. But, yeah, I could always, if I get bored of this Mac OS theme, go over to, like, a Windows theme or the default Twister OS theme. But as a Mac OS user, I really do think this Mac OS Big Sur theme looks authentic. It looks real. And I really do enjoy changing up myself. That's basically one of my favorite things to do with Linux is just change it up. Make it look however you like. Don't worry about what people think. Just make it how you like. That's what I've had an amazing experience with Twister OS Lite. And I probably will be using this as one of my main operating systems on my SSD drive from now on because Twister OS really is amazing. So basically in this video, I've showed you guys what is possible with Twister OS Lite on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is just kind of a thing that you could do yourself if you like, but also I would recommend playing around with this and changing it to however you like because that is the fun with Linux. And yeah, so this is Twister OS Lite on the Raspberry Pi 4. I really have enjoyed it a lot. I love having Box86 and Wine pre-installed because those are pretty much essentials in my opinion. There's so much you can do with them and they really do run really well. So that is basically Twister OS Lite. Thanks for watching guys. It would be amazing if you subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy this type of video where I go over my own setup, what I've done with it, and just recommendations to you, to you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching.